Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, today I'm going to uh, go over my earlier video a couple years back, the partial fraction decomposition, proof of the simplest case. But I'm going to revisit that same case because I realized I didn't finish uh, or I didn't fully uh, explain or complete the proof in that video. Basically, in my earlier 2015 video on partial fraction decomposition, the uh, person or user heliocentric brought to my attention that I've not fully explained the proof. And that was, uh, well, part of the proof. I did a lemma, uh, which was which is just a subsidiary theorem that helped in the overall proof. And then uh, in there, I stated that there is a polynomial p of x, such as uh, over here. But I never actually proved that it was, in fact, a polynomial. And uh, yes, yeah, so make sure to watch that video. Put that in the link in the description below to get some more context. And then heliocentric replied uh, at 1020 to show that uh, show also that p of x is a polynomial to complete the proof of the lemma by showing x minus a divides n of x minus a times d of x. Uh, initially, I wasn't quite sure what he was referring to. This was my earlier comment. Uh, and then I went over this comment. I just made a bunch of stuff, and then I said that. Uh, p of x is a polynomial, and this is only possible if p of x is a polynomial because this multiplication is a polynomial. But uh, in fact, this is actually wrong. It, it can be uh, another one. And then he replied, it didn't show up there. Uh, I don't know why it can't show it anymore, so I took a screenshot from my email. And so he wrote, uh, thus we have to have p of x uh, minus, I mean p of x times x minus a is a polynomial. And this is only possible if p of x is a polynomial. Uh, this is not true because if you just have p of x equals to x minus 2 divided by x minus 1, that's not a polynomial. But then uh, p of x times x minus 1 is a polynomial. Well, p of x is not. So yes, that is very smart. And then he, uh, he said, uh, you, can only, yeah, you can simply use factor theorem by replacing x with a in the polynomial. And then uh, what we'll get is n of x minus a dx to get 0 and so on. Uh, he does some other stuff there and just prove his polynomial. Uh, but yeah, he's actually very, very right to use the factor theorem, as you've seen my earlier videos. Then I wrote, oh, you're right. Uh, thanks again for correcting me. I've noticed that your new comment is not showing, so I copied it from my email. And you could see it here. And I just took a screenshot from Snaggy there. You could put a, or you could view that link in that uh, video there in the comment section. And I'll add a link to this video that I'm doing right now to that earlier video as well. So, and then I say that I will do a video later on using the factor theorem to prove p of x for this video. Uh, thanks, so yeah, thanks a lot, Helio Centric. And this was six months ago, and I, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, I gotta keep my word. So, um, yeah, so again, uh, note uh, from the responses above, note that I initially thought p of x must be a polynomial to only real, uh, later realize that heliocentric was correct in saying that p of x could be a non-polynomial, and that I needed to use a factor theorem to show that x uh, minus a divides cleanly into n of x uh, minus uh, a times d of x, thus proving it is a polynomial, and I'll get to that in a bit. And also, technical note, the lemma only states that there is a, uh, as you can see here, that there is a polynomial p of x, i.e. not to the exclusion of other specific functions, such as the function illustrated by heliocentric. So thus, heliocentric should have, should have also worded his last response as this proves that there is a polynomial p of x and not this proves that p of x uh, is a polynomial. Right here, as he states, uh, this proves that p of x is a polynomial. No, it, it, there is a polynomial. Because it can be, as he stated, this here, which is not a polynomial, that still works. But all we need to worry about is that there is. So to, re re to recap, uh, here's the lemma and the problem that I overlooked. So lemma one, uh, let n of x and d of x be polynomials of degree n and d, respectively, with n is less than d. So degree of n is less than degree of d. And it says, suppose that uh, a is not a, a zero of d of x. So if you plug in a inside here, it doesn't go to 0. And then what we have is then there is a polynomial p of x of degree p is less than d, and a number a such that we have this part over here. Now we have to prove uh, lemma 1, and then we can uh, apply it repeatedly to prove the overall fra uh, partial fraction decomposition theorem for the simplest case. So I went over the derivation all the way across, and then I went over here, and I showed that a degree of uh, at most d. So I got to th this point here, and I went all the way here, and I said p of x has a degree of d minus 1 at most. Then I stated that the, thus we've proved lemma 1. But uh, it, yeah, again, make sure to watch that earlier. 
but this is only if p of x is a polynomial, but I haven't proved that it's actually a polynomial. So, and as heliocentric explained, I need to use the factor theorem to prove that a polynomial p of x does in fact uh, exist. And here, quickly, I just added a node here, so we have to make sure it does in fact exist, as opposed to what I just did was just assuming it does, and then determining the resulting degree of it, and that's with the assumption there. So let's go ahead and prove that using that factor theorem. So first, recall Euclidean division for polynomials, polynomial remainder theorem, and the factor theorem, which is just a special case of the polyno polynomial remainder theorem, or PRT. That's just this one here. And these are all part of my uh, recent videos, so make sure to watch those. And they're all interconnected, that's why I add them there. So for the Euclidean division, yeah, I'll just write uh, E, D like that. Recall that this is if we had uh, two, or just a, a, a polynomial like this, A equals two B Q plus R, where all of these are univariant or just uh, polynomials of one degree, I mean uh, of one variable, not one degree. And then where the degree of R, this is just the remainder, is less than the degree of B, the one that's the divisor or you're dividing it by, or if the degree of B is if it is zero, then we'll just uh, define deg when r is equal to zero, just have a degree uh, this is less than zero. So make sure you watch my earlier videos on that. And now the polynomial remainder uh, theorem, this is for the case when we have b equals to x minus a. And then from this what we end up having is, we have, let's write instead of a, I'll write f of x. So f of x equals to x minus a, that's the new b one, and then q plus, and then the remainder is equal to f of a. So again, make sure to watch my earlier videos for the proof of that. And then the special case of this is the factor theorem f of t, and this is when, yeah, it, this is when uh, f of a equals to zero. In other words, we have the remainder zero so that we have f of x, equals to, well, x minus a q, like that, because f of a is zero, and this means that x minus a, let's move it over here, x minus a is a factor of uh, f of x, because this means you could just divide it cleanly, we'll just get a function q with the remainder zero. Or you could just uh, look at this f of x, break that into two polynomials, and that's cleanly x minus a. Yeah, so in our case, I'll write that down, let's look at our case. So in our case, we can prove that p of x is a, is a polynomial by looking at, well, during the proof. Uh, so again, make sure you watch my earlier video to get uh, caught up on how I went through this proof. So over here, p of x times x minus a equals to n of x minus a dx. So I got to that point. So let's just write that point down. So I had uh, p of x times it by x minus a. This equals to, yeah, this equals to n of x minus a times d of x, and also uh, in this one here, n of x minus a dx. Remember in, the, in that same lemma, yeah, those are just polynomials. If you go to the lemma here, uh, n of x and d of x are polynomials, so when you subtract it and a is just a number, you're just gonna get a polynomial nonetheless. And so then this equals to a polynomial, polynomial. So the, this, this difference, or then the left side and right side, they're both polynomials. We need to prove if this one is. So this equals to polynomial. So what we'll do, just to make it look like the uh, factor theorem is, well, this is a polynomial, and I'll just say it's, uh, well, let n of x minus a dx equals to, well, just function f of x like that. So then what we end up having is f of x equals to, and then put this on the other side, p of x, <laughs> x minus a. Or to make it look like the other one, just put the x minus a in front, so x minus a, and then we have p of x like that. So that's what we have over there, and that's exactly it. So that, and then if we look back here, that's just this part here. So our p of x is just a q, so thus this exists. This is a polynomial. Yeah, so that is a polynomial, and also what we have is, and we just plug in f of a right here. This just equals to x minus a p of 
uh, a like that, but then this just goes to zero. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the x is a. Like that, this goes to zero. Put the better arrow. So then this just equals to zero. So we have f of a equals to zero. So thus, f of a equals to, that's just a remainder, equals to zero. And, yeah, and, and then we have x, I'll write a, and, x minus a is a factor of, yeah, of f of x, which just equals to that difference n of x minus a d of x, like that. So yeah, that's uh, it's just a factor of it. In other words, we have, well, by the factor theorem, by the factor theorem, uh, those were all, all polynomials we're dealing with. So f of x, p of x, x minus a, those are all polynomials. Uh, p of x is, or uh, there is a polynomial. Yeah, I'll write that better, a polynomial call that p of x exists. It's all we need to know to uh, prove that it does exist. And then the, the characteristics of it of the degree is as shown above. But all we need to do is prove that this exists. So polynomial does exist like that. So yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that is all for today. Hopefully you followed along and also hopefully you uh, watched my earlier video to get some better context on it. But yeah, you just want to uh, clarify things and uh, make this more of a complete solution to show that there is in fact as opposed to just assume it and then look at the degree as showed over there where I showed what a degree was it's uh, less than D over there anyways that is all for today again thanks to uh, heliocentric over there for uh, the comment and yeah I told him six months ago uh, I was gonna do video correcting it and <laughs> And uh, yeah, follow it up with it. Anyway, that's all for today. Uh, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below, as well as downloading these notes on Steemit. Make sure to follow me at MES. will be an article format there. And also make sure to always check out my math uh, forums yeah, on Reddit and Vo. So yeah, post any cool math or science-related stuff you have. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.